Hello guys, welcome back to Good Shower Tips. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Fortnite in unsupported devices. So you might be wondering why there is one word which I used in the first unsupported devices because in some devices which is low end as well as the mid range phones they are not able to play Fortnite game because of low specs and configurations. You can play the I mean you can play the Fortnite game by downloading from the Play Store in devices like Pixel and any other devices, right? So I'll be showing you one real example. So if, if this is my device and I went to Play Store and I searched for the Fortnite, so as you can see the your device isn't compatible with this version, which means I'm not able to download this and play the game. I really love the Fortnite and I wish to play, but I'm not able to do this. So how to or when this happens, how to fix this up? Right, most of you guys will not be having the high end phones, it depends, and some of you might be using mid range as well as the low end. So, how to download and install and play the game which is Fortnite in unsupported devices? Right, so let's get started. First thing you have to go to Google, right? First thing, what you have to do is you have to go to Google, right? Then you have to search for the following, right? I have to search for Fortnite GSM fix, right? As you can see, you have to search for Fortnite GSM fix. Once you land on the page, you have to go for the first one which is called Downloads. You have to select this and APK Fix. Once you redirect it to this page, you have to select the first one which is known as Fortnite version 13.20. You have to download this. Let me go for Download option. You have to press this. Okay. You have to press this up. Then they'll be asking to get in downloaded. You have to go for Download. Right? You have to wait for a few seconds because it's going to take around 165 MB. So it's going to like a little bit. So you have to wait till it gets completed. Then I'll be showing you what's the next procedure. So guys, make sure that you're having the good Wi-Fi connection as you can see in mine got fixed within one minute, less than one minute. So guys, once now the file is completely downloaded, now we have to install this so that you have to tap here. Then you have to go for install option. Once it is mine done, you have to go for open, right? Then you have to go for continue. Then you have to go for okay. Now you have to create an account, right? So I'm having the account. I have to go for find my account. So here I have already signed in. Now I have to go for sign in with Google. Right now, you have to select Chrome. Then uh, I have to finish all the sign in process. It's very really simple, not so big. So, as you can see, I have signed in with this one. So, uh, this one I have signed with my first one. So, I'm just going to tap it over here and make sure when you're having multiple accounts, you have to select the appropriate one. Right? So, it's getting redirected and it is getting signing in. And now from here, we have to download a very huge file, which is around 7.9 GB, which is update is required so that you have to download it. So just like I mentioned, make sure you have having a good Wi-Fi connection. So then you just have to tap over here and you need to download the 7.95 GB. Then you have to download this file. So it is going to a little bit time. So I'll be making things fast. So as you can see, the download has started. We have to wait till it gets completely finished up.
So guys, now as you can see, I have successfully downloaded the Fortnite and I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm just gonna tap on play. So just uh, I'm gonna show you how it looks so as you can see this is Fortnite and it's logging in so uh, this is how how you can download and install the Fortnite game in the unsupported devices so there are some kind of uh, time it's going to take until you get loading up once done you have to wait a few more seconds around hardly one minute let's wait and see how it's going to work And as you can see, this is uh, one of the attractive wallpapers and the characters, all characters are here. So now uh, the trailer, it's not the trailer, it's just an intro. So as you can see, it's worked completely fine. So guys, this is the Fortnite as you can see it's working in my devices so actually I told you the file it wasn't the same and now it is working so I'm just gonna skip this up so the intro has been skipped and now you can play the season 3 battle boss the Fortnite chapter and you have to skip this up too and I have to go for select and go it. So now as you can see that's a bingo we are here in the Fortnite and this is how you can play and that's all about when it comes to uh, the Fortnite, right? How to download and install and play the Fortnite in unsupported devices. You have to close this up too. And this is how it looks. Now from here you can play the game, you can really enjoy it. And do let us know in the comment section if it works for you. Any kind of queries are most welcome in the comment sessions. And any kind of suggestions you wanted ourselves to improve, we are most welcome. We'll improve ourselves. We just wanted to make our viewers and subscribers really helpful. So that's all about it. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for the notification. And keep practicing social distance. The most important soon. Stay healthy and keep safe. This is Shahin signing off from Get Tips. See you soon. Peace out.